as a registered voter in San Francisco, before each election, you receive a voter information pamphlet in the mail. This pamphlet features ballot simplification digests for each local proposition on the ballot. How does a complex, sometimes controversial proposition get simplified? I don't know how it's done, how it's simplified. No, I don't know the specific process. It's done by committee. Every time there are propositions on the ballot, they have what they call a ballot simplification committee. There are three steps to the process of ballot simplification. The city attorney's office creates a working draft digest. The ballot simplification committee holds public meetings and creates a final digest. The final simplified digest is published in the voter guide. Let's take a look at how this works. After a proposition has been approved for placement on the ballot, the city attorney's office drafts a working digest. Each digest that we prepare has a couple of different sections. Uh, the first section is called The Way It Is Now, which provides an overview of the state of the law uh, before the measure goes into effect. The second section provides a summary of the material terms uh, of the measure. And then finally at the bottom, there are two sections. One is called a yes vote means and the other is called a no vote means. And in preparing those, we try to distill down for the voters uh, what it would mean if the measure passes and what it would mean if the measure does not pass. The city attorney's office delivers the initial draft digest to the ballot simplification committee. The five member committee was created in 1976. The members are nominated by the League of Women Voters and organizations representing journalists and educators. Two members are appointed by the mayor, and three are appointed by the Board of Supervisors. The committee holds public hearings for two weeks before each election. Betty Packard is the chair of the committee. She really has an extraordinary ability to run a meeting and to direct a discussion. There's no politics involved at all because we're all journalists or people who have worked with communications who have as our goal the free right to communication without any agendas, any bias, any political involvement at all. Before the commission meets, each member reviews the city attorney's draft digest along with associated documents supplied by the Department of Elections. We get the legislative text, we get the, the actual uh, backgrounds, we get letters from different departments, we get letters from the advocates. We prepare for the meeting sometimes four and five days in advance. Sometimes somebody will say, did you understand all this? And nobody understands these bond measures run 100 to 125 pages that they want us to put down into 300 to 400 words. Amendments to the charter, general obligation bond measures, complicated taxes. It can be hard just to explain what a general obligation bond is. Whoa, it gets interesting sometimes. <laughs> We'll talk about it, but we talk about it in session. We don't talk about it, you know, before we get here. The committee can accept the city attorney's draft, or they can edit it during the public meeting. And the reason we rewrite the city attorney's digest is because it's oftentimes in more legalese than we think the voter understands. We're quick to ask questions, you know. We don't come in with any kind of, this is the way it's going to be. We come in most of us as journalists questioning exactly what this is so that we can put out into the digest exactly what the legislation is. The committee may hear from drafters of the measure and city departments which could be affected. They also consult with the committee's educational specialist appointed to ensure the digest meets the requirement that it is written as close as possible to the eighth grade reading level. We always say to her and is this really an eighth grade word? And sometimes she says yes, and sometimes we find ourselves having to grab the thesaurus and, and the dictionary and find substitute words. The proposal, Proposition Blank, would require the city to maintain all athletic fields in Golden Gate Park west of Crossover Drive. During the committee's discussion and editing of the digest, it is displayed on large monitors in the hearing room. There's no mystery as to what's going on with the digest, and the public sees exactly what they see. They hear all our discussions, so they know what each of us is thinking. After the committee has discussed and made changes to the draft, the proceedings are open to comments from the public. 
I feel like that people have a right to voice uh, their own opinions in democracy. Politics is serious, and uh, the people who come before us are dead serious. Depending upon what side they're on, uh, they're dead serious, and their passion is strong. You're the Ballot Simplification Committee, and as you can tell, there are a lot of arguments pro and con regarding this issue. Well, you couldn't take out the voter initiative because of that it describes what this is. I want to address something that Mr. Hannon just said before I get into my other comments. Um, I take exception to that previous comment. I we'll hope you'll consider these, uh, these revisions. Thank you. Thank you. After public testimony, the committee discusses all the points raised in an open session. Sometimes we change our draft. Sometimes we, you know, literally tear our own draft apart and, and uh, rephrase things. After the public comments have been discussed and possible changes have been made, the committee takes a final vote to adopt the digest. I move that we adopt the measure. At least three members must agree to adopt the digest. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The public then has 24 hours to request that the committee reconsider the digest by submitting a written request for reconsideration to the Department of Elections. The following week, the committee meets publicly to discuss these appeals, take public comment, and decides whether to amend the digest. Then the committee votes to adopt the final digest. What we really want is for the voter to think for themselves. Read what we say and then read for themselves and look and make up their own minds. We're in their corner. We're ready to fight for them. And the politicians fight with us often. And, you know, it doesn't really matter to us because our obligation, and I say it more than once, our obligation is to the voter. We want them to be able to look at it and understand it. Learn more about the Ballot Simplification Committee at sfelections.org bsc. Before every election, you can find the work of the Ballot Simplification Committee in the Voter Information Pamphlet and Sample Ballot, which is available in English, Chinese, Spanish, and Filipino. The Voter Information Pamphlet is mailed to all registered voters prior to each election and can be found at sfelections.org.